North Korea fired two mid-range ballistic missiles into the East Sea this morning. It comes just days after the U.S. warned it would slap even tougher sanctions on the regime if it continued with its nuclear missile tests. We have our Kim Hyun Bin on the line from the Defense Ministry in uh, Seoul. Uh, Hyun Bin, tell us more. Well, Mark, as you mentioned, North Korea launched two ballistic missiles, and the first one was fired at 5.55 a.m. South Korea time at Sokchon uh, in the country's southwest. And the officials here say the missile, uh, presumed to be a mid-range Nodong missile, uh, flew 800 kilometers before falling into the East Sea. And the other one was fired 15 minutes later from the same location. Now that one disappeared from radar at an altitude of 17 kilometers. Now, a South Korean military official says it most likely malfunctioned and blew up in midair. Now, South Korea Joint Chiefs of Staff said the missiles were fired from a transporter erected launcher, also known as TEL. And North Korea's last, last test fired a nodal missile in March 2014. And it has a range of up to 1,300 kilometers, putting Seoul and Tokyo within striking distance. Making matters more concerning, uh, the missile's warhead can be loaded with biochemical substances. Yeah, so it's not a missile to be taken lightly then. And uh, Hyunbin, North Korea rarely just launches these kinds of missiles spontaneously. What prompted the North to do this today? Well, there's a good chance the launches were in protest against uh, Seoul and Washington's annual joint military drills, uh, Key Resolve and Full Eagle. Now, today is actually the final day of Key Resolve, a computer program war game exercise that aims to enhance interoperability between the two allies. Now, Full Eagle consists of numerous field training exercises, and that will run through the end of April. Now, Washington has already deployed one of its nuclear power aircraft carriers and nuclear submarine for the drills. Now, there's also word that uh, the U.S. could deploy a B-2 stealth bomber and other key strategic weaponry to the peninsula before Full Eagle ends as a symbol of the strength of the Seoul-Washington alliance. Back to you, Mark.